You have to know the particulars of this vessel so that uh, you can easily identify it. So the, this vessel was made in uh, Kure, Japan. And uh, the builder is a IHH marine builder. And uh, the date of delivery is just uh, 19 February of 2003. So this is a modern vessel. And uh, almost uh, one year and a half or more. And uh, length overall is uh, 299.90 meters with a bed mold of 40.0 meters and a uh, depth mold of about 23.90 meters with a summer drop of 14.035 meters. The total gross tonnage of this vessel is about 76,535.91 and the net tonnage is about 66,847. The main engine is the H. Sutzer 12RTA-96C. They said this is the most powerful engine ever built with a maximum power of uh, 83,413 brake horsepower and uh, about 61,350 kilowatts. And this uh, vessel can uh, uh, can run about, uh, about 25.0 knots. That was uh, her service speed. And uh, maximum speed, uh, this vessel can uh, actually run about uh, 28.8 knots. And uh, also this uh, propeller pitch, which is 80.80 meters by 9.164 meters. So it's, uh, it's about it. So we'll just turn it around and show you which, uh, how this vessel look like. And uh, hope you enjoy it. This is the main control console. We have here the telegraph and this is the, for the boat thruster. And we have the number one radar here and the MCC monitors at the middle. But we have a number two radar which is uh, already fixed with the IAS which is an uh, automatic uh, identification system. So. This is the ship steering wheel. Most of the time we uh, are already in open o open ocean. And, uh, this will be put on automatic, but uh, when we are maneuvering, approaching port or anchorage, the UTAP will be the one who will helm this uh, steering wheel. This is uh, a gyro compass repeater. Since this is a modern vessel, we have here an electronic chart plotter. We we'll also have this the digital GPS. We have two. And we have this uh, Navtex receiver. So this actually shows the position of the vessels. So it's very easy for the duty officer. Uh, most of the time because uh, this GPS is connected to the satellite so we can actually know where we are. Right here we have a lot of electronics equipment used by the navigating officer. So I will just uh, focus it one by one so that you will see it, how it's work and uh, uh, give you uh, information about this. Although we have a lot of electronic equipment on board, but you still have to use this sextant because uh, this is important. Usually, you, when you're in port, you can't leave uh, the port without this because if something happened to the electronic equipment, you still have to use this manually. This is uh, very important for, uh, for, for you to know the position of your vessels. This is SART, Search and Rescue Radon Transponder. Uh, this actually uh, helps us during distress because uh, if the vessel sank and we took this, bring it to the lifeboat, We'll just put it on uh, within 12 miles range of the of any vessels around us. Uh, they'll actually pick up this uh, this uh, signal so that uh, they can help us and uh, they can give assistance to us. This is CPR emergency positioning indicating radio beacon. Uh, this help us during distress, especially when the vessel sunk. 
this uh, will be automatically released by the hydro hydrostatic release and uh, this uh, EPIRB will give signal to satellite so that uh, and then the satellite will give feed to the shore facilities that uh, will help and give assistance to us during that uh, distress. So this actually gave a lot of information because uh, uh, this one have already coded signal so that uh, the vessel sunk, they will actually know uh, what uh, which vessel it sunk and uh, what name and especially the position of the vessel where she sunk. Uh, that yellow one is the hydrostatic release. If the vessel sunk, that will be automatically released by the pressure of the water and the EPIRB will go up and give signal to the satellite. We have here the ship's crew master list. All the duties and responsibilities of, of an individual on board ship will be posted here. And uh, a lot of information about emergency. We have also emergency plan. This is the ship radio equipment. This for uh, communication on board. The yellow one is for uh, emergency VHF. Now we will check what's uh, inside the electric equipment room. This is our electric equipment room. This is our elevator. It's serving 11th floor from port deck to bridge. We are now inside the elevator, and uh, this is actually serving 11th floor from uh, port to navigational bridge deck. And, uh, Imagine that uh, this uh, 13 story building, how big the ship. Now we are in the F deck, so here you can find the cabin of the captain and the chief officer and uh, owner's cabins. And uh, usually the, the decks are almost the same but uh, have a different room. So I will show you also on the E deck, the D deck, and uh, C deck, B deck. That's our accommodation for all the crew and we have been uh, living on this uh, cabin. So, uh, that's about it, so I'll just uh, show you around and uh, I'll go out and uh, cut me. Uh, this is uh, the officer's laundry room where the officers uh, from e tech and uh, f tech e tech are with their laundry so I'll just show you around with uh, what kind of uh, washing machine we have here on board and we have also this uh, ironing machine on my left side so I'll just show you inside so it's much easier uh, to identify each uh, machine that you are here inside the uh, laundry room. Uh, this is ironing machine for blanket that uh, usually the steward use. There's a table where the laundry are being put. We have the metal washing machine for uh, coveralls. And we have three for clean clothes. And we have also a dryer there. We have two dryer. Here, here at Tindic we have a safety equipment room. Beside it we have a, a breathing apparatus. So I'll just show you around. And, uh... We have two set of breathing apparatus. set of fireman's outfit we have an extra life jacket inside and we have two Emerson suit this uh, Emerson suit 
usually used by the rescue team during the man overboard on cold water condition. Right now we are in sea deck. Uh, the cabin located here are the Boston's cabin, the AB's cabins from uh, AB1 to AB3, and we have two OS also here in sea deck and uh, uh, two oilers. And uh, we have also the laundry room, laundry room here at the uh, far corner on the side. All of the decks and accommodation from uh, upper deck to F and navigation of beach back, we have the fire hydrant so that in case of fire we can easy, we have an easy access to the fire hydrant and also we have a uh, fire extinguishers, portable fire extinguisher, both a uh, corner of this deck. Here at C deck, we have also the hospital room. Inside the hospital room, we have the first aid box, the stretchers, we have the station equipment, we have four oxygens on board, tubes and face masks, we have also the, the, the dangerous goods medical kit. So, we have the MPAG. Now, this is a crew laundry room. Here at Cool Under Room, we have four washing machines and two drying machines. So most of the time, all the crew here are washing their clothes, uh, their coveralls. We have two for, for uh, clean clothes and we have two for uh, uh, coveralls. So inside here, we will show you that we have also the drying room. We have two dryers and this is a drying room. Usually we hang our clothes inside especially the cover all. Cover all are being heated by this team so it can easily be dried. This is our lifeboat number one. It's a totally enclosed lifeboat. The board was designed in accordance with the International Convention of Solas 1974 Amendment by 1996. The boat type is G6380R type and the material is a MRB which means a fiberglass reinforced plastic. So it's classified by NK and it has a capacity of 30 persons. The boat engine is Yanmar and uh, its type is 3JH38. And inside the lifeboat we have a lot of uh, safety equipment. Uh, we have oars, boat tank, buckets, survival manual, compass, sea anchor, painter, uh, boat rations, rocket parachute player, hand player, buoyants, smoke signal, electrical torques, daylight signaling, first aid and others. So the boat can easily be launched and uh, it can be launched inside and it can be launched outside by using the brake. The type boat can easily be launched by taking out the pin, that pin. We have two pins forward and up, taking out the lock. This is the after part. can easily be launched taking also that pin. So all in all we have three pins to uh, take out before we launch the lifeboat. Hydrostatic release. We 
will open automatically by the pressure of the water. So right now we are in Sheku. We are wondering if in the bus are being carried by the container ship. We have two bus on board. We carry it from uh, Xiamen. We'll bring it to Hong Kong. Right now, they're already on operation. 